ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Weather Extreme video, the afternoon edition for Wednesday, the 9th of January. I'm James Spann, and we are in between waves today, but tomorrow looks like it could be a busy weather day around here. Let's go to some Skycam shots. We'll begin down south in Chilton County. We've got uh, the clouds there are pretty much uh, broken, some sunshine getting through, but by the time you go north to Birmingham, the sky is mostly sunny. And up in Walker County, almost a case of severe clear as uh, drier air is taken over for the time being, but that will change rapidly tonight. Here's the uh, water vapor satellite imagery. We are in between waves. One wave is rotating through the northeast United States. That's the one that brought the rain last night. The next wave coming through the Rockies. That promises to bring some active weather tomorrow. And uh, there's a look at the surface chart. Uh, this has the surface front down there all the way to Dothan. Uh, really, we had expected it to stall out near Montgomery, but it's about 100 miles down to the south. So accordingly, we're in pretty dry air and a pretty decent day today, but that will be moving northward tonight as a warm front in response to the system coming in from the west. And accordingly, the uh, sky should become cloudy tonight with some showers developing probably after midnight in, the, uh, in advance of that warm front. Now look at this. This is the latest QPF graphic, and this is suggesting two and a half inches of rain here over the next five days, and this would pretty much be all tomorrow and tomorrow night. And again, we celebrate that. Some spots had over one inch of rain last night. You tack on numbers like that. This is going to be a good week for rain. Now the concern tomorrow is severe weather. Uh, this is the uh, day two convective outlook. All of Alabama in a slight risk. The, the risk extends as far north as Kentucky and all the way down to the Gulf Coast. You can see the highest probabilities of severe weather are right on top of us. Uh, that 30% means there is a 30% chance of severe weather tomorrow within 25 miles of a point. And that's a pretty high probability. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, model output. This is the 12Z GFS, valid at noon tomorrow. The short wave is beginning to go negative tilt off to the west. A uh, pretty robust flow there. Looks like uh, we've got winds of uh, well over 50 knots up at that level, about 18,000 feet. Uh, we'll go down to uh, 5,000 feet. This is the 850 millibar chart. The winds are almost at 50 knots. In fact, they are 50 knots there at Memphis, so the uh, low-level jet looks pretty good. And at the surface, the surface low is uh, south of St. Louis, and that's in a pretty favorable area for severe weather here, if the instability is great enough. Well, let's take a look. This is a look at the projected surface-based cape uh, at uh, 6 o'clock tomorrow evening across the southeast United States, and the uh, highest cape values are expected to be over West Alabama at that point, and uh, that's suggesting values to uh, uh, almost 1,000 joules per kilogram, and that's pretty unstable for January. And uh, look at the Energy Helicity Index, the EHI. Uh, that is peaking at... Uh, a little over one and a half, and that's very significant. So uh, there is real concern that we could see a severe weather problem tomorrow with a squall line and maybe a few discrete storms in advance of that that could go into rotation. So we advise everybody to keep a close eye on the sky tomorrow. And by the way, there's jet stream level. This is at 200 millibars and, again, a jet max uh, overhead. So all of the players seem to be coming together for a very uh, active weather day tomorrow. Friday, the system is out of here. We uh, begin to cool down. Highs drop back in the 50s, where they should be this time of the year. Saturday, starting off the weekend, here comes the next Vortmax coming down through the Red River Valley of Texas and Oklahoma. And on Sunday, that thing is rotating right through the deep south. Where's the surface low Sunday? The GFS at noon has got the thing uh, east of Jacksonville with little impact on Alabama. But I wonder... I wonder if the GFS is correct. Now, the one thing we noticed, it is trending faster with this system... And let me show you the Canadian output. This is valid for uh, Sunday morning at 6 o'clock, and it's got a surface low near Tallahassee. And uh, now the moisture is going to be awfully limited, but uh, uh, I really do think that we had better mention some chance of light rain on Sunday and maybe even a few snowflakes Sunday evening. We'll see. Again, we've got to get this thing out of here tomorrow, then we can focus on this. Uh, by the way, this is the HPC look. The guys, this is a hand-drawn prog, and they've got the surface low also down there around uh, Dothan or Panama City or Tallahassee Sunday morning at 6 o'clock. So uh, a little light rain not out of the question Sunday, and as the cold air spills in, maybe a few snowflakes. There's Monday. Weather turns colder, highs dropping in the 40s. 
Let's take it down the line and see what's happening in this very active pattern. Uh, this is the 17th of January. Now, the GFS looking a little different on this run. This is voodoo country, and we expect that. Every run's going to look a little different. It's got the coldest air digging down to the west of here, and at the surface, a really good rain event, if this is right, developing with a cold air mass behind it, 1,036 millibars on the 18th. Rain begins to taper off, and on the 19th, here comes the cold air. The depth of the cold air around the 18th and 19th, again, uh, some questions about that, but I think cold will be the word. On the 22nd, look at that. Now, that you know what that looks like right there? That looks like ice storm trouble for somebody. And I'm not saying us, but if that happens to be right, you got your uh, split flow going there. Subtropical branch across the deep south, the polar branch just north of here, delivering the cold air. And uh, we've seen looks like that that are problematic. And then out there on the 25th, it's the same deal. Very cold air diving down with a whopper of a ridge out there over the Gulf of Alaska. And uh, we got that southwest flow aloft over the shallow cold air. I don't know. It looks like it'll be a very interesting month, as we often expect in January around here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. Notes on the blog, as always. That's alabamawx.com if you're coming into this via iTunes or YouTube. And we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Next video will be posted by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.